What do you try to send the players out uh, after that tactical talk in a certain frame of mind? How much would you G them up? Would you set them up? And how much would you save for the Saturday? You mean in my own psychology? Your own psychology. Oh, well, I would not have a joke. I mean, that was a great thing when I heard that for a scene. It's best in my childhood not playing, you know. Uh, I would have a joke during the tactical talk. I mean, maybe Mr. Bennett had mentioned somebody and I would make a joke of that. Uh, mo and that there was nothing really serious. It was serious, yes, to a degree, but not really serious. Uh, they were, they were, we're serious about ourselves, yes, but not the opposition. We tried to, uh, you know, not... not degrade them, but we didn't want to uh, talk about them really at all. Uh, I'd, I would have jokes, yeah, during the tactical talk. Something, somebody might say, I improvise, I make jokes up. If you say something, I can make a joke of it. You know, just by immediately retorting. So that, uh, we, the main thing is that we try to get a laugh out of the talks. Not make them too serious. This is relaxing. That's right, that's relaxing. And I could make jokes, and I keep some of my bombs for Saturday, of course. And some of my jokes. So you absolutely did, I mean, you... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd drop bombs occasionally, yeah. Through all the dramatic games and, the you know, the things at stake and that, you know, the important things at stake. Somebody would always say something I could make a joke out of. And that took the tension out of the place a little bit. So we come to the Saturday. Mm -hmm. What time would the players get to the ground? Oh, well, this is the point, you see. Preparation and adjustment. Now, Liverpool go away from home. This is through uh, years of experience. Leeds did it. The Euro Continentals do it. Uh, this is one of the things that maybe at one time clubs couldn't afford. Uh, Liverpool, possibly. But then, when we got into Europe, we started going away. When we got a suitable hotel. It was a difficult job getting suitable hotels that were quiet in this country. But now there's plenty. And we found one, uh, oh, maybe 12, 14 years ago. And we, we Liverpool started going away for every match. We left on Friday night about half eight, nine o'clock. For a home left, match? For a home match. We left and went to our hideout. Then that's when it starts. That's the preparation starts. The training's finished. What they do from now, when the training's finished, until Saturday, till the match come, is tremendously important. Take us through the preparation. Well, we're finished. We've had our talk. We've had our little warm-up. We've had our little five-a-side, the six-a-side. Uh, they go to Anfield, have a lunch. It's a home match. All right, we report at half eight, nine o'clock maybe. And we go, they have their ordinary meals at home. They go away just in time. Not to go there and have a big meal. We were playing in London for a long time, Harry. And... The results were reasonable, but not what we should have been. And I wonder what it was, so I, I, we delved into it, and we used to go on the two o'clock train, have afternoon tea, and go down to London and then have a dinner, half eight, half seven, half seven, seven o'clock. And I thought, Christ, that's it. We're, eat, we're eating, we're diet. And we stopped it. We used to go on a, a, a train at 5.40 and have a meal on the train. So... To back to the home game, then I would report about eight, half eight, nine o'clock. Get to this place about ten. Have some toast and honey, tea, and go to bed. Now, the morning of the match day, they have a meal. If they have a breakfast, they only have some toast for lunch. If they've only toast for breakfast, they may get a little lunch. It might be a poached egg, it might be a scrambled egg, it might be something else that they would like. Whatever suits the man. But the, the overeating, that part of it is very important. So that the preparation. From the finish on the Friday to the play Saturday is very, very important. Now, Liverpool go away and keep the players together for all matches. The home matches as well. The away matches are the same. They go away in time to the place, get them time for supper, so they know that nobody's overeating, you know. These dinners I had in London, I remember them well. Christ, I've got to read the book, you know. Everything, soup, everything, you name it. So we found out from that. So that, that's important. So that they'll go away for all the whole, all away matches. If it's only 50 miles they're playing, they'll go away the night before the match. Because now in England there's suitable places all over the place. Dozens of them, everywhere. Some of them are quite brilliant. So they go for every match to play Liverpool. They stay together. Now I don't think there's any other team in England doing that. 
Then to the ground. To the ground, ah, uh, yes, to the ground. They, they get, they aim to get to the ground about to know before they kick off. And at what point, let's assume you were to drop a couple of bombs, at what point would you do it? Oh, there might be somebody uh, praying. I might have said to the old the guy at the door, uh, I give him a, a, I said, there a box of toilet rolls, uh, Charlie. I says, you give them to the opposition when they're coming in the door. <laughs> that was one of the jokes he used to have. <laughs> but uh, they were all, depending on what cropped up, you see. But there always something happened that could be a laugh at but obviously you had great store by that. I was waiting for that, yeah. I was waiting for it. It usually happened. It's amazing how the crop up, something happened, you know, and uh, I, I can make a joke out of it. Yeah. With the express purpose of, of what? Oh, of uh, lightening up the atmosphere. But we were, we, the trainers were there. Bob Paisley was there, Joe was there, Joe Fagan, and they were in the dressing room. We were all in the dressing room. And they were always, uh, you know, it, it got to the stage where it was a, it was a team, you know. Everybody was aware of what was going on. And the players were brought up and not to worry, the, not you to worry as an individual too much because we weren't expecting you just yourself to win the game for us. We wanted not only to share the ball and share the game, but to share the worries and all. So they'd all have a share of the worries. So we didn't want it to, to put too much weight. We didn't expect a, a Roger Hunt. We didn't expect a Kevin Keegan... We didn't expect uh, any any individual player to take all the worry that he was to win the game by himself. So we shared the worries out as well.